Uh, hello. Uh, what is up, YouTube? Uh, Steve here for another video. Um, and I brought uh, Valentino with me today. Say hi, Valentino. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm not really in the best of moods right now. I know I don't even look that good. I'm sorry, guys. Probably look a little like shit, and that's, you know, whatever, but at least Valentino doesn't, you know? <laughs> at least he looks okay, right? He looks good, right? But... I wanted to talk about, I, I tend to make these videos, in a selfish way, these videos are almost like my therapy, too. You know, I make these videos whenever I feel very depressed, um, or just not right, or I just feel very negative. You know, I tend to make these videos whenever I feel that way, and it helps for me to talk about this stuff, because I don't have a lot of people that I could just talk to. You know, a lot of my friends get, don't do that, Valentino. A lot of my friends tend to get very busy. Um, they tend, and I don't have that many people I could talk to, you know, just in general. I'm not close with that many people. So, I tend to make these videos as my therapy. I know that's a little selfish, but I like to think that, you know, the things I talk about are valid to other people and that it's it's reaching an audience, you know? Even if it's a very small audience, that and that's... And I, I, I actually like it that way now because at least I know that, you know, if it's a small audience, the probability that me and my viewers are getting attacked is very, it's, it's pretty low. You know, if I was reaching a larger audience, then the probability that someone is just going to say something very negative or rude or whatever would increase. And it would just, easy, Valentino, it would just... It would leave a very sour taste. I know, baby. I know you love me. I know. But it would just leave a very sour taste in a lot of people's mouths, I feel. It, it, it would kind of undo a lot of what I'm doing. I know, baby. I know you love me. I'm, I know. I know. I love you too, baby. But, uh, you could tell I'm upset. But, really, when I want to... I know, baby. I got I to gotta talk to these people. I'm sorry, baby. I know. I know. I know, baby. I love you too. I love you. Oh. But what I want to tell you today is, actually that's kind of the topic of this video. It's kind of going to be about people bringing you down, making you feel upset, because I'm very... I don't want to say why, I don't want to even insinuate why, because I don't want to use these videos as a platform to attack other people, especially people who I consider friends. But I am very upset right now, and I, I feel like the best way for me to get out there is by doing this video. and. I can't, I don't really want to do it in the way in, in which I'm feeling at the moment, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to talk about what happened or just now or whatever, because then I'd be attacking this person. At least I'd feel I'd be, you know, and this, that's not the point of this. No one should fe ever feel attacked by my videos. This isn't the platform for that. I never, I never want to do that. I never want anyone to, to feel like they're attacked by this. So, I want to talk about something more generalized, which is, again, people bringing you down, people attacking you, you know, people upsetting you, stuff like that. You know, it's, you know, I know, I know that's like a very long title, I'll probably shorten it for the official title of this video, but, but, um, but I've been, I've been brought down a lot throughout my life by so many people, so many people have brought me down throughout this life, um. You know, it's horrifying to think about. This may sound a little arrogant, or whatever, or maybe I'm using this as a card, but let's go one thing straight. I mean, I'm, I'm, I have Asperger's syndrome. Okay, I am on the autistic spectrum. This shouldn't be happening to me. It should be, it shouldn't be happening to me. People should understand better, but they don't. You know, and I've gotten made fun of quite a lot in this life. I've gotten treated like shit quite a lot in this life. Um, you know, because. I don't always understand things that well, and I don't always know how to articulate myself that well. I don't really know. Is I don't know. You know, I, I, these these things happen. The things get misconstrued, and that's a problem because, you know, it just is in this world. Not, not everyone is always that forgiving. You know, or that understanding. So. I've gotten put down a lot in this life, and even today, I'm, I'm very upset by something that's happened. I, I don't want to go into too many specifics with it, but I feel like I was, you know, attacked a little bit. I felt like I was being, um, you know, instigated a little. I don't want to talk too much about this. It's not even this person's fault. It's just, 
maybe it's the way I'm perceiving it, you know, and again, that's because, that's, the, that is because I have Asperger's, you know, and I mis may misinterpret things, but also, I haven't told, I've talked a little bit about this in some videos, but I, I had an abusive childhood, you know, I, I would, I, I would get, um, not physically abused that much sometimes, but not, not that often. It's more from an emotional and verbal standpoint, you know, like any name under the sun you could think of, anything horrifying, any horrifying name you could think of, I was probably called it by my mother. Um, you know, and that's, 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 you know, I mean, we've, we've, something that we're trying to get past, but I, you know, and it's, she hasn't really done it, you know, ever since I was a kid, but during my childhood, like, yeah, I, I got verbally abused, I got emotionally abused over things that really weren't my fault. You know, let's say my father did something or someone in my family did something, I would get in trouble for it as if it was my fault. You know, or just, you know, my to or my toys would get thrown out or my goldfish would get thrown out even though he was still okay. You know, I don't know, it's just a lot of crazy stuff, you know, and... I mean, she's still my mom. I, I still I, I still need her in my life, you know, and I still want her in my life. But it, it messed me up in a lot of ways pretty badly, you know? Sorry, guys. I, I, I thought I ran over something, but on my on the floor. But what I'm trying to say is that, you know, that, that kind of scarred me because, you know, now I get, I'm very sensitive, extremely sensitive. And that's not really healthy either. It's just... That's the way, you know, sometimes some people develop a very thick skin out of stuff like that. But it had an opposite effect on me. It made me very vulnerable and very and extremely sensitive. And maybe that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I, I take things very personally. I take things very strongly. It takes me back to that place in my childhood, which is something that I've repressed quite strongly. You know, I can't really tell you the names I was told, I was, that, that was said to me. I can't really tell you exactly the things that happened. I don't have an exact recollection of them. I should. And I remember how I felt. But that's not, that's not going to do you much good because I don't have the evidence to stack against it. I don't exactly remember the events that transpired. I, I can't remember them. It's too painful. You know, but... Why am I telling you all this? Well, you know, it's just people have brought me down in this life, and again, it may just be the way I'm insinuating it, you know, because that's that's how I perceive things due to my fractured childhood and my fractured mind. But I've been brought down a lot in this life. I've been made to feel upset by a lot of people, and some maybe sometimes people don't mean it that way, but to me, it comes off that way, and that's that's very powerful. It's a very strong feeling, um, you know. I and I, I just get very upset, you know. And you know, it's you know, I don't even know what to say today. I want to be able to give you some advice, you know, for something like this, but it's something I'm still trying to overcome and figure out myself. I can't make sense of my childhood yet. I can't make sense of of this feel of these feelings yet and how powerful they are you know but I could tell you not to get too upset whenever someone says something to you if you're extremely sensitive also or whatever you know I could tell you not to I could tell you to develop a thick skin but what's that gonna do you know people tell me that all the time and all it does is drive me crazy because that's that's easier said than done you know other people may be able to brush stuff like that off their shoulders and that's fine but when you've been called like so many so many horrible names and you've been treated so horribly like at a very young age like that that really it sticks with you you know it's something i'm going to feel for a very long time and every time someone says something to me that's rude or someone's not kind to me or someone hurts me it takes me back to that place it makes me very upset very sad very angry sometimes i get very angry that's that's very not that, that's not very healthy at all. I I you, you don't know how badly I want to bring up the things that have happened today. But I don't 
I have to stop myself from doing that. I don't want to do that because this is not the place to attack anyone. You know, and all and all that and all it would do if I were to bring stuff like that up is attack this person. It would make it wouldn't really make sense. You know, and I but I want to talk about I, I don't know I don't know what else to say. I just I wish I had some advice for you. You know. I don't know, I'm sorry guys, I'm drawing a big blank today. Uh, you know, but... I've said this a lot in my videos, you know. But... I want you to know that, you know, you are worth the time of day. I know that's something I've said a million times, but I'll say it a million more times. No matter what anyone says to you, no matter how anyone makes you feel, you're still a person and you're worth the time of day. You know, and you, you are a person, you know, you, you have every right to be here, just like everyone else, you know, and, you know, maybe people have attacked you too in this life, you know, maybe people have made you feel like you don't belong in this world, and that's, I, I want you to know that, I know it's a very strong pain, especially if it's something that you've, you, if you are abused too. You know, if you were abused and you had that, and you have that pain too, I, I feel for you, you know. But I want you to know that you're not alone and that, you know, you, even, you may have repressed memories too. You may have, you may have gone through abuse too. And you may feel attacked a lot throughout this life because you, you may feel different. Or you may actually be a little different than, than everyone else. And I want to tell you that's not, that, that's not a problem. That's okay. It's okay to be different. It's okay in this world. You shouldn't be made to feel like it's not okay. You know, so... If it's getting to the... Because at one point, it got to the point for me... that This was when my depression started. Like, I didn't want to deal with abuse anymore. I didn't want to deal with... Um, the way people were making me feel. So I wanted to kill myself. That's when this all started. Nine, ten years... Going on ten years ago. And I'm still... I still get depressed. I still think about it, and... I wanted to kill myself, and I want you to know that it doesn't have to come to that. You know, you, you don't have to kill yourself. You belong on this earth. You belong here, you know, and you're not alone. There's so many people who've had a rough hand, a rough childhood, but I want you to know it's okay. I want you to know that you could get past that. You know, and those, those scars can heal. And, you know, there's still be there's still going to be scars, but they're going to heal. And you know, and that's what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm trying to get past what happened with me and my mother. I'm trying to get past that, and I'm trying to to overcome these these the sensitivity that I have. You know, and these 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 feelings that I have. But it's been it's been very hard. You know, it's been it's been a very rocky road. So, I just want you to, to hang in there today. I guess that's my message to you today. Hang in there, you know? And I hope this was a good video. I, I hope you got something out of it. I hope I hope you did. I really do. Now, I'm not making this video to, to start any fires. Okay, you know, it, this person may not have even... That may not have even been this person's goal to upset me. It's just the way I got, and that's on me, you know? At least, I, sh I don't know if I should be saying that, but at least that's how I perceive it, you know? So, I, I just want to, I just want you to hold on today, you know? I want you to hang in there, you know? I don't want you to kill yourself, I don't want you to... Because I know, I know it's a very strong feeling to feel like you've been abused. I know it's a very strong feeling to feel attacked a lot, like you just don't belong here, I, I, and, you, and I know how it feels to be taken back to that place, you know, but just hang in there, okay, just hang in there, alright, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna stop this video, I'm gonna say goodbye, but I really want to thank you for watching, I hope this video helped you, even if it's just to tell you that you're worth the time and of, of day and that you're not alone, you know, I hope you got something out of it, okay, so I'm gonna say goodbye, I don't tell you, you want to say goodbye too? You want to say goodbye to them? Right? You want to say goodbye? Okay. He says goodbye. <laughs> Alright, so take care of yourselves, okay guys?
Be good, okay? Goodbye.